Welcome to my Deploy Microservices on OpenShift 3, this Red Hat Developer Studio uh, presentation. Uh, my name is Fred Dricon. Um, I've been working for the past five years at Red Hat uh, on the DevOps Tools and Dev Studio team. I'm currently based in Canada. Um, if you heard about me, maybe um, I'm a committer on the Maven for Maven integration project, uh, M2E and an M2E W3E project at Eclipse. Uh, so if you've used Maven or Maven and Java E and you had bugs, that's on me. Um, currently, I'm I'm working on OpenShift tooling uh, for Eclipse as part of the uh, DevOps tools and Dev Studio uh, development. So today, um, this talk is uh, designed to teach you how to deploy and scale a Docker-based microservices uh, on the OpenShift container platform, running on the Red Hat Container Development Kit and using the Red Hat Developer Studio. So a lot of the concepts that um, I'm gonna talk, I've been introduced already by Pradeep uh, in the talk before me. So I'm gonna just uh, make a quick overview of the products I'm gonna demonstrate. Um, First of all, the OpenShift Container Platform um, is Red Hat's platform as a service product. It's deployable uh, on-premise, uh, locally on your machine, uh, on an hybrid or public cloud. You can apply for uh, the online preview um, if you want to try it for yourself. And it's based on, on open source projects, uh, which are the uh, OpenShift, OpenShift Origin project. Um, which itself is based on the Kubernetes uh, container uh, management um, project, uh, as well as uh, Docker, uh, which is a lightweight container. Um, so the container development kit uh, is a, a container development environment uh, provided by Red Hat. Uh, it's based on an, an upstream project called Atomic Development Bundle. Uh, it requires a zero dollar subscription. Uh, it's free for development use. So that means that you go to the Red Hat website uh, and there's a link uh, over there. You you go to that website, you download a couple of, a couple files. So one is the zip file um, containing a background file. And 